All right, so let's, as a, another part of this lesson, let's talk complex fractions. So complex fractions just have a fraction in either the numerator or denominator or both of a fraction. So you basically have fractions within fractions. Here's a little example down here, x plus one over x over y, okay? So in our denominator, we actually have a fraction, right? A complex fraction is simplified when there are no fractions remaining in the numerator or denominator. So you've simplified it down to a simple, you know, one fraction that's got a numerator denominator. Let's look at how to do that. So to simplify a complex fraction, we can rewrite it as a division of polynomials problem. Hey, that's what we did previous lesson, right? So for example, 14 over AB over 7 over C squared. Well, remember, what is this fraction bar mean. Fractions just mean division. So this means the same thing as 14 over AB divided by 7 over C squared. Oh, we simplified stuff like that in the previous lesson. So remember, when we divide by a fraction, we can just rewrite it as a multiplication problem. So 14 over AB times C squared over 7, right? And then we can just simplify a little bit. 14 over seven, that would simplify to two over one. And so then we would get two C squared over AB in this case. Notice how much nicer that looks than this thing. Hey, we've just got one numerator, one denominator. So that's the method that we're gonna to employ today. So if you've got a fraction divided by a fraction, just rewrite it, multiply by the reciprocal. Now, what if it gets a little more complicated, okay? maybe the top or bottom isn't already combined, then we're gonna get a common denominator and rewrite them as a single expression. That's where adding, subtracting uh, rational expressions came that was in the first part of this lesson as well. Now, once you make it look like that, we can divide by multiplying by the reciprocal. Let me show you an example of that. Now, the lesson showed a couple different methods, and I don't know, I'm not thrilled with how they present some of this stuff. I'm gonna focus on one method just to hopefully help you feel good about it. So, boy, this thing looks complicated, right? We've got all kinds of stuff up here, all kinds of stuff. Again, we've got add. Let's combine these into a single expression. So on the top, just focus on the top for now. What's the common denominator? Well, it'd be xy, right? So I could multiply this by y over y, and this one by x over x. So that would give me 2y, plus 3x all over xy, okay? Now let's focus on the bottom. xy, same thing, right? And they don't have to be the same, they just happen to be in this problem. So I'd multiply this one by y over y, and this one by x over x. Just getting a common denominator. So I have minus 5y plus 7x all over xy. Hey, now I have a fraction divided by a fraction so let's rewrite it, basically multiply by the reciprocal, right? Let me just come down here. So I have 2y plus 3x over xy times xy, I'm just flipping the bottom one, right? Multiplying by the reciprocal, negative 5y plus 7x. Oh, what's xy divided by xy? Divides out, that's one. And so our answer is 2y plus 3x over negative 5y plus 7x, okay? So again, there's different ways to do these, but that's the method I think probably make the most sense for you here as we start out. Get things together, common denominator, and then fraction divided by fraction. Hey, we know how to do those, right? We've already been working with those.